and we are live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Toe the Line with me, George Glinsky, joined today by Scott McKee. How are we doing, Jam? Good, mate. How are you? Yeah, really good. Really good. We're, we're here on, on the live right now speaking ahead of a, a pretty good fight, you know, a rebuilding fight against Johnny Lawson. Obviously, things didn't go to plan against James Lilly. You, you lost that bantamweight British title, you know, a really gutting moment. It, it was built up to be a really competitive fight. We all thought it was going to be a really competitive fight. And then things just changed. It was a, a, a knuckle in the eye. It's such a hard thing to deal with. So where are you at right now mentally? Because it, in many ways, it didn't feel like a, a real defeat. No. Well, like you say, it won, it won fair and square. You know, it was just that fucking, that shot in the eyeball, you know, you get frustration, you know, you can't see. Yeah. Fuck it, I got a count. Blood started pissing all over. Um, then he seen that I couldn't see and he put it on me and, you know, one fair and square. That is what it is, you know. It's, it's just, he it, it fucking won. Couldn't give a fuck, to be fair, because I'll be back. Do you know what I mean? A loss is a loss, you know. We all we live, we learn. Um, but, yeah, I've lost. I've come back 10 times strong and I'll believe me. And, that, and that's what the, the Lawson fight is, is set to, to present in that sense. But how, how difficult was that? Because, you know, it is legal. Like people, it's unlike in, in mixed martial arts with, with the gloves um, and the fingers and the eyes, you know, eye pokes. They're, they're illegal in all forms. You know, they're illegal in bare knuckle. But the knuckle in the eye, that's the weird thing about bare knuckle boxing is that is legal because there's nothing you can do. It's just a knuckle. It goes straight into the eye. It's, yeah. it's bare. It's part of the sport. But like... How frustrating was it losing in that way? Mate, do you know when you get punched in the eyeball with a bare knuckle, it feels like you get it in the bollocks, I'm telling you. It's fucking, it's horrible. I feel like my eye went to the back of my head and I would try to open my eye. And when I was opening my eye, I was seeing like three James Lilies, man. It was like squinting your eyes and yeah. imagine all the frustration there. Then I would try to shell up, protect my sin. They were uppercutting me from my chin, got me on top of my head, made me fucking head split open. You know, it was just just a shit day in office, mate. But um, yeah, I think it's a bit it's horrible getting punched. You know what I mean? Well, I love getting punched, but yeah, yeah. Nah, it's just a one in a million chance. You know, just bad luck. That's yeah. all it is. But it's completely legal. You know, so fair enough. Just an occupational hazard. The same thing happened with Mason Shaw and Daniel Lowell. Although there's a bit of scepticism about how legal that shot was, whereas yours was a completely legal shot. Um, yeah, he got me, he got me with a fucking sweet uppercut. Listen, mm. I've took some big shots, me in, um, in there. I've took Rocky Morgan's biggest left hook in my yeah. jaw. He put me on my ass, did knock me out, got back up, laughed. You know, I, I cracked on. <clears throat> um, I've, I've had my nose snapped across my face. <laughs> fucking laugh at her, Lisa snapped my nose, you know. I've took some big shots yeah. and as you can see, when you get in, ah, it's like getting punched in fucking bollocks, you know, it hurts. It's fucking... It's horrible feeling, hmm. um, and when you can't see, it's. So I'm not saying it as an excuse, you know, but no. it's, it got me fair, it got me a clean shot, fair, you know. Congratulations to him, it's a bell, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's gone now. He's gone. He's gone to America. Um, bless him. You know, love. Oh, he's a good man. Now. Do you know what? I speak to Lily all the time on Insta. He's a fucking. He's a top bloke, he's Lily. Yeah. Um, fair play to him, you know. He's, he's um, got the belt. I don't know if he's coming back or, like you say, I think he's gone to America. Yeah. You know, fair play to him. Change the career, change the scenery. He's got the goal fucked off. Mm. Yeah, and, and you know, we hope he does really well. You know, from your perspective, you're seeing a lot of your stable mates going to America, going to, some of them saying greener pastures. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that personally, but people are going over to BKFC. They're going over to BYB. They're going to different companies. What do you think about that? What, is there any temptation from your your side that America could be calling? Um, do you know what? I've had, I've had a few. Well, I'm not saying the name, but we're, yeah. we're promising the world this and other about America. I'll get you signed and that. You know, and it, to anyone, it's like a dream, isn't it? Fighting over there. You know, you're like, well, fucking hell, good money, America fighting in Las Vegas. And I'm not being funny at all, but anyone would be like, well, it pulls an eye, but... Then I had a good think, do you know what I mean? I'll, I'll always sit with BKB and I'm fucking glad I have because they're going to Miami now. You know, mm. what if I just um, agreed to fight in a different show or whatever? 
you know, you, you do have second thoughts, you know, oh, try something different, something new, but then if you wait, then the good things come to you, you know, like, look what's happening now, going to Miami. I'm mm. not saying I am, but that's where BKB is going. Join would be, what is it, BYB? BYB, yeah. Is it, we, yeah, I don't even know what that's, is it bare? It'll be bare knuckles, something like that. It's, yeah. It's a, it's a, oh. You don't even know what it is, you silly Do you know what? <laughs> DYB, D- I, 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 in my head, I thought it was backyard boxing, but it isn't, because it used to be, because it started 5,000s. I, I know what it is. What I know it? what it is. It's backyard bumming. That's the one. Backyard <laughs> bumming. Yeah. So, so, so. I'm definitely you, going there. Ooh. Oh, 100%. <laughs> what good, what good time. You'll be fucking there anyway, won't you? If it's backyard bumming. I'll be there with the camera and an interview my straight up there. <laughs> All right, let's talk about bare knuckle, not backyard bumming. Fucking hell. <laughs> but how do you think that's going to change things? Because there's that temptation, that dream. Is everyone's, I, can't, I can't get over that last comment. There's that temptation and that dream of going to America. Now we've got an opportunity for a lot of fighters where they're saying, oh, listen, I want to go to America. It's on my bucket list. Now you can. As a BKB fighter, there's the cross-promotional deal. How do you think that's going to change things? Do you think we're going to see as many fighters going over to America to different promotions? Well, you've got to have a double vaccine, haven't you? So a lot of people disagree to that. Yeah. You know, that that's, that's only the downfall, but if I get offered to go there, I'll be I'll be straight. I don't give a fuck. I'll get double vaccine to go fight over there. I know it sounds bad, and like if, if smudge on anyone's head, and this will be fucking, <laughs> they'll be shouting like fuck. Don't get don't get the jab, but each their own. You know, if it's a good opportunity, and if it puts um, food on my table for my kids and gets me recognition, you know, money, I'll I'll just I'll get a double vaccine and go over there. You know, I don't give a fuck, me. That's why we do bare knuckle because we don't give a fuck. Very true. <laughs> I always, to be honest with you, I always did find it very surprising that people were so concerned about a vaccine when you know you're constantly getting punched in the head. Um, but you know, each their own. There's different, you know, it's differences of opinion. I'm not gonna get into politics and all that bollocks, but yeah, people you know, should all in them, don't they? Fucking coke, fucking you name it, and the bother about getting that. I don't I ain't going into conspiracy bollocks anyway. <laughs> no. Don't say I don't really like ask about it. No, Just no, fucking no. baffles me head. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. But, you, but you find you find yourself in a good position against Johnny Lawson, BKB 23, 25th of November. It's coming up fast. It's a rebuilding fight. And and, and a fight against Johnny Lawson, a win against a, a hardened veteran, will it's, it'll be his 10th fight, actually. That's important to note. That's that's meant to be the, the point of, of Hall of Fame. Once you've got 10 fights, I was speaking to Jimmy, he said, once you're on 10 fights, you're at the Hall of Fame. So you're in a position where you're against a guy who's arguably a huge a future Hall of Famer, regardless of how many fights he's won, regardless of how many he's lost. You know, this is a good fight yeah, for, for career trajectory. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Johnny's a tough, do you know what I mean? He's a tough opponent. And they all steps in that ring in BKB. They're all tough. There's no idiots on there. Um, Johnny might have, with his record, he might not have had as many wins, but it doesn't matter. He's been in with the best. He's took fucking, he's had Ricardo Franco um, for, is it three rounds? He's fucking the majority, had James Lilly three not, rounds. Someone you know had what I mean? He's had Lafferty. Mm. Exactly, this is what I mean. And people go, oh, Johnny Lawson is lost, mate. The, the kid's tough, do you know what I mean? And I, I that's what I want. I like to fight. And um, I think me and Johnny are just going to meet in the middle. We'll just stand and fucking bang. Mm. And that's what people want to see in there. Just a fucking all out, smashing each other in the face. And that's what I want. Anyway, I don't want someone who's going to jab away and run off. I'm going to stand in the middle, stand and trade. And Johnny's the perfect man for it. So, yeah. And I'm confident I'll win him. So, do you know? Let's have it. When you were given the options, is that what you were looking at? Obviously, you were, you were given, I, I don't know if you were given exact options or maybe they just offered this, but were, were you looking for that sort of fight, you know, a brawl? That's what you want. You want to, you want to give back something to the fans? Yeah, I just want, I, like I said, ask Jim Master, I'll take any fight. Yeah. But um, see Johnny, I said, fucking hell, you know, we're both more or less the same. We'll just stand and bang. We're both forward fighters. And, um, yeah, but I, I, I'm a better, I'm not saying I'm a better fucking boxer, but I'm confident, you know, my boxing ability is better than his. And my brawling, that's my thing. And if, yeah. you think that, if he thinks that's his thing, let's fucking stand in the middle and have it out. You know, we'll we'll see the last man standing there. Eh? He's, he's who's the toughest. Definitely. That's what it is. I just want to, I just want to fight, you know. Fucking fuck boxing, mate. We'll just stand and bang. <laughs> you think we're going to see a return back to... 
that well that fantastic fight your debut obviously a different result you're going to want to win this one but a similar fight to that that first fight against against Tony Lafferty is that how you how you see this going well yeah this in um this in three years ago on a week's whatever two three weeks notice I, don't, I can't remember yeah. about three years ago now from that fight I fucking sparred every day and I'm ready you know I'm always ready now um this camp I've, I've done more sparring than any other fight camp mm -hmm. So, you know, I've, it's, I haven't really been working on much technique. I've been yeah. working on just fucking, you know, I'm not going into too much, but I've got the perfect game plan anyway. So yeah. I know what I'm going to do in there. So, you know, but like it's bare knuckles, one fucking punch could be cut open. Oh, it can happen. Look at what happened with me in the last fight. Yeah, so we'll may the best man win, but I'm confident that I'll, I'll be, I will, I will beat Johnny and I will. That's no no disrespect to him, you know. Um, we, I've had eight. You've got some. I've had eight bare knuckles. No, seven bare knuckles. Seven bare my eighth one now. So we're both similar experience. We're both stand stand and bang traders. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Is probably the most fight I'm looking forward to. Mm. That I've than any. Definitely, no. It it really does breed for a fan favourite fight. Obviously, there was the Tony Lafferty rematch that people were talking about. I feel like it's the, the next best thing. Is is that fight still in the pipeline? Do, do you still want that rematch with Tony Lafferty? Well, fucking 100%. I want my revenge on him. Yeah, of course, yeah. I wouldn't mind a rematch with Lily, but he's gone to um, America. You know, I'll rematch anyone. May I'll fight Rocky again. No, I won't really. I've made Rocky and Morgan. <laughs> We've agreed, right? Well, we'll never fight each other again. That man, he just fucking smashed me fucking face in anyway. <laughs> He's an animal, mate. Do you know what I mean? But no, we're good pals now, me and Rocky. We'll yeah. speak most days on WhatsApp anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're like best mates. <laughs> hey, they, they say, don't they? You know, once you fought a man, you see them in a different light. You respect them more. Do you feel like that's the case? Once you fought a man, you, you feel like you've you've got a bond. They're like a, I know it's I know it sounds cliche, but sort of a, a brotherly bond. You know, your blood brothers in that sense. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I say, once you fought, it's weird though. Like because we talk like mates, and you mm. and a memory will pop up. Uh, Scott <laughs> versus Morgan. And then you see each other in the ring. It's like fucking hell, man. As if I fought him. Do you know what I mean? It's mental. Look at him. Like I say, he's a British champion now. Yeah, you know, there's there's some tough cookies out there. He's a British champion. Lily's a British champion. Lafferty, he's going for a British title. Mm -hmm. They're the three fights I've lost against Lily, Lafferty, and then Rocky. Look at them, champions. You know, they're all they're under. Well, is Rocky's undefeated? Lily's undefeated, yeah. and um, lost against Lafferty. Yeah. Um, I, I can't remember if he was undefeated when I fought. I don't. I don't give a fuck to prepare, but yeah. It's, it's been, you know, some been some fucking good fights I've had there, what I've lost, what I've won. Yeah, I mean, you've, you've not taken easy fights at all. You've always put yourself in there. And yeah, I, I, I really do think, Scott, and I don't know if this is a, a particular goal of yours, but we're talking about 10 fights. We're talking about being a Hall of Famer. With what you've given to the sport, the blood, the sweat, the tears, the entertaining fights, you know, being a former British champion and, hey, Maybe even a future world champion. I know that's that's definitely in the pipeline. Does being a Hall of Famer and having your name in the history books of BKB is that is that really important to you? Well, of course, yeah, yeah. Do you know when I when I won that British title? Look at that. I was Lee's first bare knuckle champion. That's in yeah. books of history. Do you know that's something to be prouder and to to be in the Hall of Fame of BKB. It's even better. So yeah, of course. That, I'll 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 have, I'll be like a Sean George veteran on there soon. I'll be fighting there, fucking. How many fights is he on now? I think he's on about... Um, oh, I wouldn't like to misquote him. I think he's in his, in his eight, about 18, 19, eight, I reckon. 18, he's coming up to 20. I feel, I feel like, I could be wrong, I feel like this fight against... I want to say that this fight against Tony Laft is either his 19th or his 20th. I feel like it's his yeah, 20th. Yeah, I've seen a person that is retiring, so I'm assuming. They said it might be his last fight, so I'm assuming yeah. it's his 20th. But I, I, I can't show him what go, man. He's yeah, he loves it so much, you know. We all say that we've had enough, but he'll it, it, be there until his 50th fight. He's a fucking legend, isn't he? He's an absolute warrior. Why do you think that is? Because it, it happens a lot in combat sports. A lot of fighters just, they they just decide all of a sudden, you know, bad loss, uh, bad not. They say, look, that's it. But they just can't let it go. Why do you think that is? 
it's just pride, isn't it? You know, that's what we're here for. We're here to fight, you know. So, like, when I lost, I was like, that's it. I told Jimmy, I said, that's it, I'm done, I'm done. Mm. Then I went home and I got thinking, I think, you know what? Fucking, I need some good motivation here. Mm. So, get back into it. I said, I'm coming back to be stronger now. Well, that's not me. So, I think, look at Jimmy Sweeney versus uh, Mikado. Look at his comeback fight. Mm. You know, when you come off that loss, it means a lot to you. So, you always come back a lot stronger. That's what... That's what I'll be doing anyway. That's so, what yeah. you're to do, to, rep, to almost replicate how impressive Jimmy Sweeney was in that comeback. That's what yeah, you're... I want to do I'm, I'm going to have a comeback like Jimmy Sweeney's. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to have a comeback like his. Obviously, he's a fucking art, animal, isn't he? He's a king of BKB. But I'm going to have a comeback just as just as good as his, do you know what I mean? Definitely. Just to impress. You know, I can't work. How how do you see that go? How do you see this going then? Obviously, there's predictions. You can make your prediction if you want to. I don't know if you're a prediction man. Everyone's everyone's different. But how do you see well, this lot, ultimately going? Well, a lot of people they say I'm a slow fight, slow starter, and I am a slow starter. You know, because I'm used yeah. to my background. You know, doing longer rounds like tie five fucking rounds or whatever. And um, it's a three two. So, so I'm, I'm just going to come out explosive all three. And I I think with my with me starting fasting first, that's where my power is and aggression, and I hit very hard, you know what I mean? And I don't know if Johnny, I don't know if he can tackle him, I don't know. He's got a good chin, but we'll soon find out, do you know what I mean? Mm. One at back at here, be fucking game over. He could clip me back at here, game over. All can happen in there, but I'm confident. I, I'm going to, I think I'll stop Johnny. Mm. I'm confident I'll stop Johnny Lawson. Is he... Out of all respect to him, he's an he's a absolute legend and he's a good lad, but it, we to do business, you know what I mean? And that, that'll be very important because, I mean, James, oh no, not James, it was uh, Tony Lafferty stopped Johnny Lawson, but it was a cut. You know, you, you want to be the first man to properly stop Johnny Lawson. Is that ultimately the goal here? Yeah, that's a, that's a goal. The first man to stop him without a cut. Well, obviously, it will be cut, won't it, if I fucking <laughs> punch him in the fucking face. <laughs> but you know what I mean, don't you? Like he got stopped with a cut. The the kid had carried on. I have seen the fight. The kid had kept carrying on. He's like me. He'll keep going and going until he's fucking dead. But yeah, I want to try um get a good knockout. Hopefully, yeah. I feel bad saying that because I fucking like Johnny, but it's uh, I fucking like the kid. You know, he's a, he's a lovely bloke. But it's business. We're in there. We'll we'll smash each other's teeth out, whatever. Then we'll have a pint after. Definitely. Definitely. And that's, that's the incredible thing yeah. about knuckle boxing. You go to war, it's violent, it's bloody, it's gruesome, you know, for those six minutes, it's, it, it's, it's, it is horrible. You know, it's a real, it's in the trenches. And then all of a sudden the bell rings, you get your hand raised and then it's all back to lovey dovey good times. You yeah. know, so that's what, that's what's so incredible about bare knuckle boxing in that respect. And that's, and that's why I feel like being exuded from you in this fight. Nice one, mate. Appreciate that. So finally, you know, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up differently. We were gonna do a bit of a thanks, but we're gonna we're gonna put the sponsors down below. We're gonna get a full list. Um, a message, a message to Johnny Lawson before fight night. Johnny, mate, good luck. May the best man win. You know, we're both fucking bangers. We're both tough. So yeah, let's have a fucking war, mate. Definitely, and it is. It's gonna be a war, people. You need to tune in for this fight. If you don't know about this fight, where have you been? This is going to be a massive, massive fight in BKB. This is really one of the fight of the nights. I, I believe personally, I'm making a prediction here. This will be fight of the night. I think you'll go a few rounds. Do you know what? We could have a stoppage. I'm with you on that, Scott. It could be, you know, it could be a, a nice little ending there. Johnny's never been stopped. Two guys are going to go to war. It's going to be an incredible fight. You can catch it on Fight TV. The tickets are still available, though limited. AX, AX.com uh, for those. Have you got any with you at the moment, Johnny? Uh, have you got any with you at the moment at all for the fight against Johnny Lawson? Any what, sorry? Have you got any tickets currently for you with, with the Johnny Lawson fight on you personally? Um, I do, yeah. But I've got a few BKB ones here, yeah. I've got a few tickets here, actually. I've only got an handful left. Only a handful left. So we'll stick your link then down below because it's easier to get it online. So ax.com, I believe, ax.com. Um, tickets, as I say, are limited. But if you're watching this right now and it's just come out, then you might be able to get yourself on a card. But if not, then fight TV. But yeah, thank you so much for your time, Scott. 
and uh, look forward to seeing you the 20th of November. Nice one, mate. Cheers, George. Take it easy, mate. Cheers, mate. Get your cock out. <laughs>